Welcome back to another Mad Human Pizza video. In this video, we're going to be removing and installing the seat belt. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Let's do it. The camera on a tripod, and here we are. Had to maneuver the tripod through there, but we made it. So, the seat belt, if you're ever in a a car accident and your seat belt's all jacked up and messed up and you want to get a new one and repair it yourself well you've come to the right video in this video I'm going to show you how to remove a seat belt on a 1997 Ford Aspire Aspire to be I don't know Aspire to watch this video so You'll have one fastener down there and one fastener right in here and right in here that just flips right off and look it's a bolt a bolt fastener so and I already have it ready just for you guys I have it ready 16 millimeter this is a deep socket that's for the bottom one and the top it fits both of them so 16 millimeter socket will fit the bottom and the top okay I had to get some shade so I brought the uh, the umbrella over here and uh, been tearing apart this car making videos for you guys and uh, so this is coming loose as we're going and there is a whole lot going on here besides just just one little fastener seems to be a hole um, ooh, nice. look at that ground look at that floor look at that floor there might be some animals down there insects but as you can see there's the back of the back of this fastener is a little gold colored um, washer type thing and it, it's this is a really radical experience here so we are taking this off and I'm gonna get this off and I'll be right back at you. Alright, that's what that looks like. So you have that's the bottom part of the seat belt and you have this little metal collar and uh, I don't see no Loctite on there and there's a couple looks like a big thick washer and I'm not too sure what this is, but this is and then a little red piece there. This is pretty uh pretty uh, heavy duty. So now let's take the top part off. Okay, here we are at the top part of the seat belt. Took that front cover off, and now we're just going to loosen this, which is probably going to be really hard to get off. So I'm going to get a breaker bar. Now, your breaker bars don't have to be this long, but this is what I'm doing right now. Check out the Xbox. But anyway, um, if you might want to put like a cover or a shirt behind here so it doesn't damage anything. But this is a breaker bar and the longer your uh, arm is, the more torque will be put on that fastener. Which it might snap it, but this, it won't. Okay, I had to get a half inch drive with a 16 millimeter for this one because it is uh, can be on there pretty tight. And I learned that I was going the wrong way. I was actually tightening it instead of loosening it. Which can help you sometimes. Sometimes if you have a, a bolt or fastener that's really hard to loosen, you can actually tighten it first and then then loosen it. And uh, you can do that sometimes. So this is coming off and it's uh, almost off. And it has whole bunch you can see where I um, rounded it off a little bit but this has I think six points to it and I'm using a 12 point so not the best method but um, you use what you got okay so that's the top part and let me just get that Get you gotta take there. a journey to the bottom of this. So we're gonna take out this side 
little piece of uh, all the, the um, weather weather stripping. And that'll give us some. Um, yeah, you can take off the entire weather stripping and. All right, there's going to be a lot of paneling you got to take off in order to get to this bottom device inside here. Let me give you a closer look after I take that off. Just, it pops right off. It goes right into the little clips or whatever. Let me get you a closer look here. All right, we're going to get a little closer look behind this little panel, which the panel stretches all the way to the back. There's like foam. And so it just pops out. So just use a screwdriver or something. But uh, down here is there's a fastener. There's a uh, pull back the seat, and you pull back this cover. And down in here is where the seat belt hangs out. And that thing right there. That's where the bottom is. Where the seat belt comes out. And there's a fastener right there. Remove. Um, so you probably want to you want to remove that fastener, and I'm going to see if there's another fastener. But this hangs out inside there. Okay, 10 millimeters is the uh, socket. So I got the ratchet, the ratchet and the socket on there, and we're currently removing that fastener get better access put down the back seat and just start pulling up this back panel and eventually you'll get a whole lot better access to the part that we're trying to remove here this has a a plastic sleeve over top of it which is kind of silly but the bottom part goes underneath the rug here, and underneath the rug is what I presume will be a fastener to take off. We, took, we just took off this fastener right here, so I'm going to figure this out and I'll be right back at you. Alright, we have found the promised land. The promised land is this fastener right here. Just pulled back the carpet, and there is a big fastener right here that holds on. The whole bottom part of the seat belt mechanism right here. This whole seat belt mechanism is held on by that bolt down there. And I took off this screw that was right here. Yeah, right there with my fingers pointing. There's a screw, a bolt, a bolt or screw in there. And you see how this all wraps up and wounds up in there, and that's where the uh tensioner or whatever is that's where it hangs out that's the that's the place so it's really and there's that little bolt i took off the top of that but we have found we have found the bolt and it is absolutely absolutely incredible so we are getting a seat belt if you're in a wreck and it's all mangled up and you got to put a new one in this is how you put a new one in and Make sure you go by the torque specifications on these bolts here because this is serious stuff. So, wanna, it's the locations. I'm showing you the locations and how to access all this stuff, which is, I think, pretty good information. Because now, if you want to replace this, you just take the back panel off where I showed you. You just pull it out. They pop out of these little tabs. And there's one back here which I presume is a little screw and fastener to take that whole thing off, that, that seat belt. And this goes to your gas tank on this vehicle. It's uh, right here, not your tank, but your uh, gas, uh, where you put the gas in at. And so there's a lot going on and it's really cool. So I'm gonna take this fastener off and I'll be right back at you. Okay, this is a 16 millimeter socket, just as the other two were and it's getting loosened and here at mad human pizza land we are currently working on a 1997 ford aspire and the seat belt we removed it and we're going to probably talk about how to install it it'll, it'll be a reversal of removal and uh we just want to get it back to the same specs as you can see this is loosening up and i'm going to get off i'll be right back at you Okay, got that fastener off there, and now 
you would think the whole thing will be able to come right out, and it does, awesome. You have to contend with this now, which has one fastener, two fasteners, it has two fasteners, so, because it'll, it's the only thing holding us back now. But we get this off there, and we'll be able to get the entire seatbelt module out. Coming up on the finale here. This is the grand, the grand finale. It's always nice to have a, a little grand finale. Because this is getting ready to come off. And we are going to have a complete, a complete, complete seatbelt. Awesomeness. There it is in all its glory. I'm going to take it over to Mad Human Pizza thumbnail studios here at Mad Human Pizza Studio. I have a, uh, there's my, my boxer shorts. But anyway, <laughs> I got clothes hanging. See, um, little side note, more boxers, but a little side note is uh, old coat hangers. I cut those off and I, may, I use those as um, clips to hold the uh, my clothes. There's socks. But uh, see, they're old. Uh, um, see all these the boxers. Let me, anyway, let me let me move my my clothes clothes hanging out. Anyway, let me let me move my my clothes clothes hanging out. Okay, here's the seat belt. The seat belt in all its glory. You got the bottom end, and then actually that's um, that's the top end. And there's the bottom end, and then here is the uh, all where the seat belt wraps up in. The tensioner, I believe. So this part you do not remove. This is caution, do not remove. So don't remove this. And so uh, and this says do not remove. Uh, do not remove the blue part either. You want to keep that intact. So um, that's the part, and that's how you remove it. And installation is reversal of uh, removal have a professional put a new one in and yeah so this is let's see seat belt for seat belt for automobile automobiles seat belt for automobiles so it's been a incredible so have a great day and uh yeah just have a great day